Who is the best person to treat my DLBCL? So again, you know, any uh, competent oncologist, uh, you know, uh, because DLBCL, as I said, is relatively, blood cancers as a whole are rare diseases. But if you look at, again, among the subset of lymphomas, this is the most common lymphoma. So again, uh, community oncologists can also treat a DLBCL very effectively with like regimens like Harchop or Pola or Chip, the other option that I talked about, or even there is a more aggressive chemotherapy called dose-adjusted REPOC for some very aggressive forms of diffuse large B cell lymphoma. All of these can be still done to the community. So the main thing is getting patients the access to an oncologist who is competent enough to give safely administer the chemotherapy, monitor for side effects, and complete the potentially four to six rounds of chemotherapy needed for their stage of disease. Where does an academic center like ours or a university come into play? As we said, like, you know, we are always in the search for improving uh, the current standard of care. So the whole field of oncology, especially hematologic oncology, is being transformed with the advent of more newer immunotherapies and cell therapies, including CAR T cells, which are the craze of the town right now. So we are trying to incorporate these immunotherapies more and more upfront. So patients, always we look for clinical trial options for anybody diagnosed with any type of blood cancer. And uh, the main thing is, you know, if you have uh, access to, uh, to, a com to an uh, academic center, which has a very exciting clinical trial, and if you have a more aggressive version of DLBCL, uh, for which the standard of care chemotherapy does not cure like 90% of people, then that could be an option to explore, especially if they are looking at incorporating cell therapy or by specific antibodies, again, in the more upfront setting. Usually they start with their primary care, um, especially if they're presenting with enlargement of the lymph nodes in the neck. Usually those patients are treated with antibiotics initially, thinking that this could be an infection. When they don't respond to antibiotics, usually they are referred to uh, ENT specialists, and, and from there they come to us if their biopsy show lymphoma. Some of the patients are going to have different pains in their body, could be the bone pain or abdominal pain, they're gonna start with certain scans, maybe they're going to go to the ER first with that abdominal pain and the CT scan is gonna show enlarged lymph nodes. Some of the patients, rarely, they will have organ involvement, such as the nervous system involvement, they're gonna have a more dramatic presentation, could be confusion, could be seizures, could be altered mental status, but majority of them are going to reach out to us through their primary care physicians.